Hello there. Hello. And welcome to my class, Mr. Williams Mass Class. Today we'll be dealing we'll be looking at how we can convert percentage into fraction. If you are here to subscribe to this channel, can you do that now? Um, so let's go. Uh, to convert percentage into fraction is very simple. One thing you need to understand is that your percentage is just a fraction with under as a denominator. Once you know that, it should be easy for you to convert. Now, if you look at the first question that we have here, 2%, what 2% simply means is 2 divided by 100. You have 2, and it's 2 divided by 100. Now, we've done that. We've converted 2% to fraction. The next thing is that we break it down. Then we can break it down by using 2 to divide both the numerator and the denominator. 2 will go into 1, and 2 in 10, that's 5. 2 in 0, that's 0. So you have 2% as a fraction is 1 over 50. Now let's move to question 2. Question 2 is 8%. 8% simply means 8 divided by 100. 8 divided by 100. Now we have turned into a fraction. The next thing is that we break it down. We look for a common factor for 8 and 100. Now 2 can go, 2 can go, you can use 4. Now 4 in 8, 4 times 2, that's 8. So 4 will go in 8, 2 times. And how many 4 can you see in 100? That's just 25. So 25. Now 8% that's a fraction is 2 over 25. And I must let you know this that when you are converting your percentage into fraction, you break it down to a point where it doesn't where the two where the numerator the numerator doesn't have the same factor. One you don't have the common factor again. Now let's look at 55%. 55% simply means 55 over 100 55 over 100 then you break it down you look for a common factor you look at 5 is a common factor to both 55 and 100 5 is 55 that's 11 5 times 5 that's that's 11 and your 5 in 100 that's 5 in 100 that's 20 so 11 over 20 they you can see that we have to stop at this point because there's no common factor for 11 and 20 we move to the next question question 4 you are 84 percent so your 84 percent is 84 over 100 84 by 100 then we look for a common factor that is a number that can divide both 84 and 100 without a remainder i think two can do that two in eight i believe that's four and two in four that's two two in hundred that's two in ten that's five two in zero that would be zero now if you look at 42 or 50 we can, two can still divide it so we can use two that is two in four but three in four is two why two in two that's one and your 2 in 5, that will be 2 remainder 1, 2 in 10, that's 5. So 84% is the same thing as 21 over 25 as a fraction. Now, the last question for this class, you are having 12%. Now, the first thing is that you, want, you need to understand that your percent simply means divided by 100. That will be 12 divided by 100. The next thing is look for a common factor. Now, your common factor is, you can use 2, you can use 4. I would prefer we use 4 to make our work faster. 4 in 12, that's 3. 4 will go in 12 3 times, 4 times 3 is 12. And how many 4 can you see in 100? That's 25. Now, the answer is 3 over 25. It's as simple as ABC. All you need to do is what? Change the percentage, change it to division, change it to fraction by dividing 100. Then you break it down with a common factor. You stop when the two numbers, when the numerator and the denominator doesn't have a common factor. Now we have come to the end of the class. If you are yet to like this video, can you hit the like button? You can share with your friends. Thank you for being part of this class.